morning, Lewisburg. I'm Ainsley Bry, and this is Patriot Sports Weekly for Friday, March 1st. Today's episode is all about our Patriot Spring Sports. We have six different sports being highlighted today. First up is recapping wrestling historical season. They finished their season with a 17-1 overall match record. Individual wrestlers competed at the state competition on February 24th and won third place overall. Individually, second place medals were awarded to Logan Bradley and Joey Fisher. A third place medal went to Paul Harvey. And fourth place medals went to Gage Hitt, Tyler Robertson, and Jamar James. Congratulations, boys! Next, our Lewisburg Winter Guard team is having an impressive comeback for the first time since 2021. The team is competing and their hard work is already paying off. This past weekend, they traveled to a competition at Pearl and placed first. Although Winter Guard seems a lot like a fall color guard, it is judged on a gym floor rather than a field. The team members mastered complex drills and detailed choreography, then performed and scored by different categories like equipment movement, design analysis, and general effect. They compete every weekend until their big championship competition on March 23rd at the Jackson Coliseum. You can watch them compete this weekend at South Haven on Saturday, March 2nd. The Lewisburg tennis team is coming off a season where they reached the third round of playoffs and had six individuals made it to state. Led by head coach Martha Hall and assistant coach Christy Wiseman, they look to build on their success from last season. On February 20th, they traveled to Pontotoc and came home with a 4-3 win. On the 26th, they went up against Horn Lake out South Haven and won all seven courts. They have a match today against South Haven. We wish you the best. Did you know archers shoot each round in under two minutes? They shoot 40 arrows with only 30 counting from 10 and 15 meters away. They do all of this without any scopes or releases. The archery team competed on February 22nd, coming in first over DeSoto Central, Lake Cormorant, and South Haven. The top two shooters for the whole tournament were Lydia Treadway, shooting a 275, and Vince Skinner, shooting a 274. The max points any archer can get is 300. On February 27th, our archers finished third against two great competitors, Potts Camp and Center Hill. Archery has an important county meet this weekend. Good luck! Your Lewisburg Lady Pats softball team is coming off of a 26-win season with a 6A North Half State Championship appearance. They have started off the season with a 5-3 record and are undefeated at home. Last Saturday, they played a doubleheader against Kosciuszko, winning Game 1 10-2 off of 15 hits and a complete game from the team's ERA leader, Emma Abrams. In Game 2, Leah Walker held the Whippets scoreless through four innings with Bailey Davis finishing the game in the circle. The Pats won 11-2 with 11 hits. Wednesday night, the Lady Pats faced off against Corinth High School. The Patriots scored six in the first after five straight walks and scored again in the bottom of the second after a Kara Walker triple and Anna Etter RBI. Emma Abrams started on the mound and held the Warriors scoreless through the first three innings and finished the game with eight strikeouts. Though Corinth totaled 12 hits, the Patriots' clutch defense held the Lady Warriors to only three runs with an impressive catch from third baseman Leah Walker and a runner caught stealing from catcher Leona Claire Stokes. The Patriots won with a 7-3 final. We interviewed shortstop Kara Walker after her stellar performance. Today we interviewed Kara Walker and we asked her how they did against Corinth. Um, I thought we came out really with good energy. However, uh, we only had two hits, so we kept playing on defense. I thought Emma pitched a good game, but I think we could improve with like our offense better. And how they feel about their upcoming district play? Um, we have Horn Lake first, so not really too worried about that one, but coming up like with Oxford and I think DC is in our district will uh, be preparing off the hack attack and uh, taking hard ground balls and just be prepared to win. Last but not least, the LHS baseball team is off to a 6-0 star after coming off their state championship win last year. The Berg boys traveled to the 12th annual Perfect Game High Showdown on Thursday. They matched up with Athens High School from Alabama in the first round of the tournament. 
Athens came into the game with a 4-1 record, winning their first four and dropping the fifth. Senior Stone McKay and Ole Miss baseball commit led the offense going two for two. The Patriots got the win 7-4. They will advance to play in the quarterfinals today at two against the Hoover Buccaneers. Score updates will be on the Berg's Baseball Instagram and X through the weekend. And finally, don't forget to come out and support Lewisburg Theater's production of Big Fish. There is a performance tonight at 7, Saturday at 2 and 7, and Sunday at 2. See y'all there!